Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel. My name is Andrea, and you have come to Gratefully Blessed in My Mess. And you guys, Houston, we have a problem. <laughs> we, our water line just froze up. My husband's out there right now. He took the day off because tomorrow the campground is shutting everyone's water off until Thursday or until Friday because we are supposed to get negative uh, 50 here with the wind chill. So um, we have to, we haven't put skirting on the camper yet, so we have to go do that today. Um, <sighs> I don't, we were planning on heading back to Michigan Friday morning. Um, I'm thinking, but Michigan is going to be hit with a blizzard. So I, I don't know when we're going to leave you guys. I don't know if we're going to leave tomorrow, Thursday, or if we're going to end up leaving Friday. I'm not sure. There's so much going on right now. Um, I feel bad. My husband's out there. I don't even know what the temperature is. Our temperature gauge thing quit working now. Um, so he doesn't want me out there helping him. I don't know why. I mean, yeah, it's cold, but geez, I feel bad. Um, so I'm wrapped up in a blanket here because it's flipping cold. Um, so I, I'm just going to take you on this little adventure with us. So yeah, so today I, I don't, I, we're going to head into Omaha and um, get some skirting. Uh, we're down, we've already used one propane tank since uh, we filled up Friday. So we're going to go fill that, get that filled back up just so we always have it on hand. Um, the campground here does fill propane, but you guys they are charging so much so we spent um, I think we filled two or three propane tanks and it was $29 um, just to fill one just to have the campground fill one 30 pounder well it was um, $110 <laughs> we're not doing that um, and so they send out they sent out a mass text to all of the residents here that um, they will not be filling propane tanks because due to the negative temperatures, it's dangerous. I totally agree. People need to prepare. So that's what we're doing. We are preparing, um, but we also have to leave. Sorry about that. My husband came in and um, yeah, we were talking about where we need to go. He had gotten a really, um, he had bought a really expensive heated hose uh, last year or the year before when he was in Pennsylvania. And so, we don't know. We're just looking to see where we have to I think the, he said the nearest Camping World store was in Council Bluffs, Iowa. So we are probably going to end up having to drive to Iowa today and get some skirting and another heated hose possibly. So we'll see. I'll keep you guys updated. Okay, you guys, we found uh, <clears throat> a heated water hose without having to go all the way into Iowa. Um, so, and it is only $200, which is way better than what my husband paid for his first hose. He paid like $500 for his her first hose. Um, so we're gonna go to, it was at Tractor Supply. We're gonna go to Tractor Supply and then probably a hardware store to get some skirting for the camper bottom and um, hopefully, I don't know, I'm thinking I'm gonna put some, cause we've got a lot of 
windows in here. I might have to take blankets and cover them up or kind of, you know, make it like an igloo. <laughs> I don't know. So I'll keep you guys posted. Okay, we are on our way to Home Depot to get some heat tape and the skirting. So hopefully that'll help. It is nine degrees, but feels like negative five right now. gotten the insulation all well he's tying the loose ends up right now it is sunshiny here so that makes it somewhat better to deal with but it's still so cold and to know that we're the cold the coldest of cold is coming um oh my gosh what is today is today tuesday or wednesday i don't I don't even remember my days. I have lost my days. Well, Wednesday is going to be the negative 50. So when we leave, we're just following that cold right into Michigan. And I'm not liking that at all. <laughs> but it is, it is what it is. So I'm just going to embrace the glamping life and deal with every obstacle that comes in my way in our way because that's the only thing we can do so instead of looking you know being all upset about it I guess we're just going to have to laugh about it that's all we can do look what we just found I think there's a couple of them, so we're going to check this one out. Just looking, I don't see anything here. This one feels like good quality. No, no good ones. Yeah. Okay, so this one is called Thrift World. Um, I know we really don't have the time to be coming in here and doing this, but I don't know if we'll ever head back over this area again. I don't know, so I'm just going to check it out real quick. Oh, 
cute little bags.
we are outside freezing our butts off. Trying to get the skirting up before the winds come. So, at least it's sunny. Okay, we kind of snapped that little bit of skirting. And then this here. And then we have a little bit going around with, well, we this isn't even done. We are just starting this. But I like it over on this side because look at this nice, beautiful sun. I love it's it. It's still super, super cold, but at least with the sun, it makes it nice. But so I think we're going to be heading home on um, Thursday morning just because Michigan is going to be... Um, we're, we're getting all the alerts about um, hazardous driving. Um, I don't know. I mean, I'm hearing different total amounts, anywhere from five to 15 inches of snow. So <clears throat> I think we're um, definitely gonna take off Thursday morning and um, we'll be a day earlier, yay. So um, yeah. All right, you guys, I'll see you in a bit. Okay, you guys, I am inside warming up because it is so cold out. And I will give you updates as they happen, I guess. Not not any more updates with the, with the camper. Our water is still froze up right now. So, and tomorrow they're shutting the water off here for, um, um, I guess protection of their water lines um, because it's supposed to be so cold here. We'll see. Um, but we leave Thursday morning, so I will probably um, update this on Thursday. <laughs> 